Hi everyone, so welcome to my new YouTube channel and um, as some of you may know, I will be getting married. So I thought it might be quite interesting, actually more of a bit of therapy for me, is to uh, start doing a little bit of a wedding vlog. So, um, so far it has been quite manic. When they say it takes over your life, let me tell you, it's true. And sometimes in a good way, sometimes not so much in a good way. Um, so far, I've found the venue, which is near my hometown in Tunbridge Wells, but I'm keeping that a surprise until the actual uh, day. And then uh, we've also, because of the place that we found, it's outside, it's going to be in a marquee. So we've organized our marquee company. We're now in the process of just finding our caterers and uh, also doing the exciting part of uh, tasting all the food. And I finally found my dress. Now the dress thing, oh my God, is the hardest thing ever because it doesn't matter where you go, it's going to be the most expensive dress of your life, really. And at the end of the day, you're wearing it for one day, which I'm quite tight, so I find it quite hard to actually um, accept the fact that I will be paying a lot of money for one day. But anyway, that's what's happened. I found my dress and it was a lot of money, but for me, it's perfect. And that's the main key I found. When you're trying to find a dress, I think you need to look for three things. A, it has to look like a wedding dress. I mean, there's so many dresses out there, they're beautiful, but to me, they look like a dress that you're going to wear any other day. And at the end of the day, you want it to be something amazing. And for me, I felt like the dress I found really was like a wedding dress. Now, what I mean by that is, you know, it's got a long train, so it really isn't the kind of dress you wear every day. And it's got the kind of details that you just cannot wear every day. And obviously it's white, so it is a wedding dress. So I'm going to keep that a surprise as well for nearer the time. But uh, you do know when you find the right one. And I was in a bit of a panic. It's taken me probably about three months to find the right one. And you need to give yourself enough time for all the alterations to be made, for it to be made if you're having it done from scratch. And even if it's up from off the rack, as I said, the alterations need to be made. So... I think that's one tip I can give out there. If you are looking, look straight away and as quickly as you can so that you've got a chilled experience rather than making a rushed decision. So I found the dress uh, and I went to somewhere in uh, London, but I did look loads of places in and around London. Some people I know will travel quite far for a dress. So it's really dependent on what you're looking for. I was looking for a certain style as I'm originally Iranian, so I did want to have a little bit of an Iranian vibe to it. So I think I found the right thing in that respect. So I found the dress, and now it's all the other bits and bobs that I'm looking to. But um, I think I'll leave it for that uh, for now. A nice short video to begin with. And if you want to ask me any questions, then please do so. I think my next thing in terms of what I'm going to look like in the day is uh, looking into what my makeup's going to be like and what my hair is going to be like. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. And yes, I have recently chopped it all because as you may all know, I usually have long hair. So I think I'm going to grow a little bit, but I'm still deciding whether I should go for either an updo, which personally I think is not my kind of thing, or a down do or a half updo. Obviously uh, a bit nice on this. And uh, perhaps I'm going to do a makeup video just to show you what I look like before and after makeup because I think a lot of people think that I have perfect skin and trust me just a lot a lot like many people out there I don't have perfect skin um I do suffer with acne and it does go up and down my skin it's dependent on the weather so <laughs> ironically in the winter it's worse than it is in the summer uh and um yeah I think I'll do a makeup video I'll do that next, so hopefully you can see that. Otherwise, until then, uh, please do write a comment, ask some questions, and I'll try and answer it in the next video. Thanks for watching.